Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review and today's game up on the tabletop is sort of a board game. It's actually a full poker set for Blackjack. This is from an Amazon store and I'll have the link down below for you. And it's going to provide you with a bunch of different Blackjack materials. You're going to have the felt mat for playing Blackjack with up to I believe six different players plus the dealer. It's going to come with a card shuffler and a bunch of other components. We'll discuss Blackjack to a small degree, but most part you guys probably know how to play Blackjack, but mainly I'm going to cover what comes in the set, the quality of the contents, and what they're used for. So let's go ahead and get into the basic idea of all the components. Then a little bit about how to play blackjack, and finally, mainly, my review of the components themselves. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's begin with all the different components you'll get with the poker set. And the first thing you'll probably notice is this felt mat. This mat's pretty big. It's like three by six. It's gonna take up my entire table here. So you're gonna need a rather large tabletop. Go ahead and check the link to see how large the fat felt mat is. But it's going to have all the aspects to poker. This is going to give you a two to one payout for insurance. And it's gonna give you these six slots for players as well as uh, the dealer side. It's a mat, it's thinner than probably the average play mat you would get, but it's made out of felt. It's not made out of the type of material you would get for like a computer mouse. This is gonna sit right on top of a table. And it's gonna be nice and thin to uh, place on top of your hand and notice a huge uh, indent. It's also fairly flat too when it comes in. You're also going to be getting this card shuffler, which is also gonna come with its own batteries. It's gonna come with its own um, push pull, uh, which will help you uh, basically move the cards in and out with this thing. Uh, and it is gonna have two sides to it. You'll take your decks of cards, place them on each end, but equal weighting, and then you're going to push this button down. Um, and when you do, it's right here, this little operate button. It'll make a noise and it'll shuffle the cards. Speaking of cards, this is gonna come with six different playing card sets. Three of the blue sets and three of the red. And you can determine how many decks of poker you'd like to play uh, for blackjack. You can play up to six different decks. Uh, probably three would be just fine though. Um, and they are basic playing generic sets of cards, but they are nice. They work well. Um, they're probably the average thickness of like a bicycle, traditional bicycle playing card. Um, and also very similar in looks too. You can see one of these cards here. I'll show you on the B-roll as well what the cards look like. Uh, there's going to be the cutter. This is the cutter here. The cutter is where you're gonna be putting the cards down to allow players to take the cut cards. So these cards here, the yellow, blue, green, white, and red cards, so you can cut the decks uh, to make sure there's no shenanigans while playing poker. And uh, then you're gonna take these cards from here and place them into the shoe. This is the shoe you're gonna get. It's actually a really nice shoe, which is gonna come with this uh, wheeled motion um, tracker here that pushes all the cards into place. And where you'll place your final cut to determine how many of the number of decks you're playing with. And the bottom of the shoe is gonna represent the first cut card as well as the cards you're gonna be dealing out to players. And then you can throw out the cards to each player by pushing them across the tabletop here. The shoe is actually rather nice. Really, really like it, looks good. Uh, but this is what the shoe is for. It's basically to push cards through and give cards or deal cards out. You're gonna have a belt. Uh, you're going to be having uh, the blackjack strategy cards for players who are new to blackjack and do not know kind of the odds and what you should be pushing or doubling down or splitting on. This is a generic version of how you would play blackjack, not the card counters version of the game. You're also going to be getting some poker buttons, a uh, dealer, small blind, and big blind. Not necessarily used for blackjack, but a nice set to have when it comes to having a full and complete poker set as well as your all-in chip. This is where you throw this in to indicate that you're basically putting all of your money down. In blackjack, you're typically not gonna use any of these buttons, but they are available. Next, we have the rake here. The rake is what the dealer is going to use in order to kind of pull all the chips that have been lost or push all the chips that they are being given. Uh, it's usually used for basically if they are too far away from reaching the chips, this is a way in order to grab them. It works very well. You'll have to actually turn this little guide here in order to open it up and it kind of like will set in place and you can kind of tighten it to make sure that it stays. And last but not least, you're gonna be having this little case here. You guys have probably seen a lot of these cases here. This is your typical generic standard poker chip case. It's going to come with latches as well as a key inside with additional poker decks available. So an extra two poker decks. It's gonna come with a set of dice for craps 
And of course your key here to lock the case up. And finally, it's gonna come with your chips, which are the standard play, uh, poker, poker chips here. These are plastic poker chips, which will come in a variety of colors, uh, white, red, black, green, and blue. And they fill this thing up fully. It's a fairly heavy case. It has kind of a foam backing on both sides, along with felt, and it locks well. Works really well. It's gonna come with a handle and you can use this for pretty much any poker night that you would like. This is the standard blackjack set. However, with all the components that you see here, you can basically play any type of poker game that you would like. All right, that's the basic idea of what you're getting in this set. Let's talk about now how to play blackjack. Most of you already know how to play blackjack, but I'll give a basic demonstration of the game 21. What will happen basically is each player is going to be dealt a face down card from the shoe here and then they will be dealt a face up card. Each player can only look at their two cards, their face up and face down. And there's going to be a dealer. I will be the dealer here. I can look at the cards presented to me. Now there's a bunch of different variations with blackjack. Dealers will have to stand or hit on certain sets of cards they're going to have. Sometimes it's a soft 16. Um, but basically all this means is your objective is to hit 21 points. Every face card is worth 10, and every numbered card is worth that number. So if you have an eight and a king, that's a total of 18 points. There is a slight variation, which is the ace here. The ace represents one or 11. So with an ace and a face card, that's 21, which is the number that you want to hit. And so each player is then going to go in a process, one at a time, of uh, deciding whether they want to hit or whether they'd like to stay. Stay means they're done and they want to keep the number they have and hit means they'd like another card. Uh, this player here actually has a king and an ace. They have 21, so they're going to stay. This player here has a total of 20, so they will stay. You're te technically going to keep these face down. And this player here has an 18, which means that they would also likely stay, which means it comes down to the dealer. After all players have stayed, the dealer is going to flip eight, nine, 10, and they're going to reveal up until they hit a point. Okay, this is 16, 17, 18. They have to stand now, they're above the 16. So basically these players are going to flip and the closest to 21 is going to win. Uh, so in this case here, 21, 20, and 18. So these two players are going to push the dealers, always fighting against all players here. So 18 and 18, whatever this player bid is just gonna go back to them. And these players, whatever they bid is going to be paid out to them. And you would take all these cards and you'll place them into the discard, and then you're going to begin another game. And you'll simply just be pushing these guys out from the shoe and playing another game of blackjack. Uh, in the game, you can bid basically however you'd like. You can set the rules for however you'd like as well and make the payouts differently. There is a certain amount of rules based on the mat here, but you can change these rules and add unique, unique aspects to it, like uh, you can double down. Uh, you can also split, as well as taking insurance. These are unique aspects to the game, which I won't cover. You understand the basics of jack blackjack now is you want to hit 21, and each player is going to have to decide whether they like to stay or they like to hit, aka take a card or not. In this case here, this player's got 17, they'll stay. This player here has 12, they will go ahead and hit. 12 and 7 is 19, so they'll stay. This player here has 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, they'll take another one and they have seven, seven and 13 is 20. So they'll stay as well. I flip, I've got 20. I would steal the money from the players who have less than me. And in this case, 20 and 20 means that they will go ahead and be a tie and a push will happen. Blackjack, the dealer is mostly always going to win. They have a percentage chance, even at your best at counting cards, the dealer is still going to have a better odds, uh, more, better, more better odds for a longer portion of the game. Uh, but in general, Blackjack is always favored by, I believe, like one or 2% to the dealer. And it's just the fun aspect of playing Poker Night and Blackjack. Anyway, that's the basic idea of Blackjack for those of you who don't know, otherwise you'd probably skip this part. Let's talk about what I think about all the components. We'll begin with the shuffler here, this bad boy here. Uh, this thing, I didn't know how to use it first. When I was a kid, I always wanted one of these guys and I never ended up getting them. I specifically wanted them for magic cards, but I wouldn't trust any shuffler to shuffle my magic cards now that I have more expensive cards, but I will always trust this thing to shuffle up my basic playing cards. Uh, it's a pretty good shuffler. I was actually quite surprised with how it works. There are some hiccups that it has on the occasion, but basically you're gonna take half of one deck, half of the other, half of one portion, half of the other portion, and you want to make sure that they kind of stack straight and even with each other. 
and then you'll simply push them down. And all of a sudden, you push this down, you pull this out, and now you have one shit set of shuffled cards. Do this seven times, that makes for accurate randomness. But yeah, you'll take these cards, you'll push them out once again, and then you can close this up with, with this thing here by pushing this down and blocking it, and then pushing the button. And now you've shuffled the deck again. It actually works really, really well. I was quite surprised with it. I was kind of nervous that the cards would get all stuck and messed up, but I really haven't had that issue. I guess if you put, if you load this thing with way too many cards, you don't set it up correctly so that all the cards slide in nicely, then you'll have an issue. But as for basic random shuffling, it does a great job. Uh, this thing, I'm gonna give it a solid B plus, almost an A, but there are some times the cards can get stuck. Um, it, it, haven't, it hasn't happened to me in a while now that I understand how to place the cards in, but it does make me a little nervous. Don't be shuffling your Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this thing. Uh, it's not, not worth it just in case one of those expensive cards get messed up. But as for playing and shuffling poker cards, B+, A-, minus, straight up. Really nice, works very well. Much, much surprised. Uh, then we're gonna talk about this. This is, this is my favorite. This is the shoe. It's nice, it's hard plastic and it fits all the cards in very well. You can play it probably up to six decks fairly easily with this thing. It's gonna come with a roller. This is kind of the thing that is not only weighted, but also rolls and pushes all the decks together. You'll use these cut cards, which are nice as well. They're thin cut cards, but they'll allow you to kind of choose a spot in the deck and that will let you cut the deck and that determines uh, the randomness or random organization of the cards. You'll place this here. You'll take another one of the cards and you'll push it in. And that is how many cards you'll be playing with for blackjack. You take the rest of these, slide this in, and now you've got a shoe. Push this cut card out, and now you can start dealing out a game of blackjack. And it does really, really well. I, oof, this thing's great. I never knew I wanted a shoe, and now I definitely do. The next components are going to be, well, the cards themselves. They give you six cards, but also this set of uh, poker chips is gonna give you two more. So you're gonna get a set of eight playing cards, and they are your generic poker playing cards. I have no super negatives to say about it. Uh, the cards work well. They're, they're sets of cards where after you play a number of games, you'll toss it out and you'll get new cards. Typically what you do in Vegas with new playing cards or when they start having cuts or dents or folds in them so that you guys cannot cheat while playing poker. But these work fairly well. Straightforward, your basic style poker set with the wild um, as well as a rules card in each of the sets. Great for playing blackjack or Texas Hold'em or literally any type of game you could imagine when it comes to poker. Large variety of cut cards, like I said, they work very, very well. Now we have the rake, a thing I'll probably never use, uh, but if I ever do do a poker night with friends and family, uh, then I can use the rake here. This is something that is a very essential for playing at a casino or whenever you cannot reach certain aspects to the game. Probably wouldn't even be super bad if I was playing on this table out in the middle of the, like where, where we have six players and so I can easily grasp and pull in the chips here. But typically for an average poker night, I'm probably not gonna be using this rake. It's more for show, but what it does is it does it, what it does, it does well. It's going to allow you to pull chips. It slides rather easily and it makes sure that the chips don't go anywhere. I can throw these guys out and then I can rake them in and then that's gonna give me my chips. That's all it does. It's just a rake, but it, it works well. So no complaints. Um, speaking of the chips, all these uh, dealer chip, blind chip and small blind fairly well. Uh, the all in chips, sadly for us, uh, maybe actually, no, I'm just silly. I forgot. I'm going to uh, rectify my review here right now. So I didn't realize that actually this side, you have to peel off this layer here. For those of you who purchased this, I'm gonna do this on camera here. Oh, okay, never mind. this is great. Okay, you peel off the cardboard layer and then you get an all-in chip and this chip is actually nice now. I like this a lot. At first I couldn't, I couldn't see it on the back and then on the front was just cardboard. I just didn't peel it off. Okay, A plus for all the chips. They work, they do exactly what you want them to do, and the all-in is actually very nice looking. Jeez, don't I feel silly. Here's a bell. This bell is used in uh, numerous games of uh, poker, and it's exactly the type of bell you think it is. It is a bell. I'm holding down so it doesn't make the ding sound. Strategy cards are great for beginning players who play poker. If you wanna teach people how to play poker on poker night, the cut is nice and thick plastic. I like it just as much as I like the shoe, but it's not used as much. And finally, we have the poker set. 
This is a C plus standard poker set. It's not bad. It does exactly what it needs to do. It's got a thick casing and holds all your chips, gives you enough spacing for extra uh, cards, as well as keys to keep it from being stolen. I mean, nobody's going to steal your poker chips, but it's always nice to have kind of on principle. Gives you the dice so that you can play craps with it. Um, and they are standard generic poker chips with the different variations to allow you to set your variations for chips. You can have these chips be whatever number you'd like. Uh, they're nice. They're thick, solid, beautiful chips. If you've seen a set of poker chips before at anybody's house, um, this is what these are going to be. These are going to look like just like these. And they're, they're very straightforward, very nice. I have no negative qualms about this set. It is um, nothing super crazy like what you'd buy in Vegas, but also nothing to sneer at either. It does a good job for use. They are going to last you a long time. The chips are unbreakable and these things feel good to the touch. Overall, this poker set here, oof. Well, there's a lot of cards. There's a lot of stuff it comes with. I think it's around a hundred bucks for everything. And what I did to decide how I would vote the overall is I asked people what they would spend if they wanted to purchase a blackjack poker set. And everybody said for this set, it'd be roughly about 160 to $175. This is cheaper than that on Amazon. You can pick it up on the link in the description. Uh, I think the price is very fair. It gives you everything you need for not only blackjack, but you pick up a few other mats and you can play any other game. You can have a casino night all at your house and there's enough decks of cards to, solicit um, to facilitate your needs for playing other card games. This is a great poker set. It's really cool. I'm very excited to play with this with friends and family. Luckily, I do not need to review the style of uh, like play or anything. I know how to play blackjack. I've been playing it for about 10 years now. I, know, I understand how to uh, utilize all these components. So it was mainly about the quality and the care and how simple it was and easy to, ease to use. Oof, I did it. I did the thing I didn't want to do. Uh, but yes, I, I, I recommend, I highly recommend this. If you're looking for a poker night and you just want an all-in-one set that gives you everything you need for blackjack, this set does that and more. Yes, high solid recommendation for the po those poker players out there. Other than just the mat is a little thin. I wish it was a thicker, stronger mat, uh, but it'll do the job for what you need. Uh, and you can pick up a better mat in the future if you want to get a little more serious, but this will do exactly what you need it to do, all of it, and a great price too. You can't beat it. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer, a board game review, or this is like a full on product combo review for this blackjack poker set available to you on Amazon. If you're interested in picking up, there will be an Amazon affiliation link uh, in the comments below or in the description below, and you can grab one for yourself. Uh, the kid in me is very excited. I've always wanted to have my own nice set, and this finally gives me everything I need. I've always had poker chips and stuff like that. I have a craps and roulette um, mat, but nothing else. I used to have a table and I lost all that, so hopefully at some point I'll be able to review a roulette wheel. Uh, but this does give me almost everything else I need in order to have my own wonderful little poker night. I'm excited to do that with friends, and this is all going to be utilized. Uh, maybe not the blackjack, I like to play hold'em, but I do like blackjack on the occasion, so we'll do that with, with friends and family. Yes, excellent little set. Check out our website on filtergamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Go ahead and also subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our videos here and you wanna see more content we create all kinds of reviews. I've done reviews for dice and board games and card games and oh, poker sets, anything gaming related I'm gonna cover. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to playing some poker with you next time.